K.K. Downing's guitar was such a, uh, guitars, plural, were such an awesome pleasure to photograph. Uh, I went to his home, uh, Astbury Hall in England, and it, this is basically a golf course. He purchased this estate and turned it into this amazing golf course, and the holes are called, uh, you know, names that are significant to Judas Priest's songs, so it's very cool. Uh, we were in his boardroom, which I felt like I was in a castle. Uh, the boardroom had all these, this gorgeous wooden table with, it seemed like the, the knights of armor chairs, and he had all his guitars lined up ready for me to photograph, to just pick and choose from. So we went through each guitar, and he told me about each guitar, and there were so many to photograph that I ended up picking, I think, five out of those. Um, a very special Gibson Flying V that was that's a gold top, which uh, may be one of the only gold tops Gibson ever made as a Flying V. Uh, one of his guitars that he didn't think was cool enough, so he took uh, some a hammer and uh, hammered in some uh, studs all along the side of it to give it a little bit more edge. Uh, a guitar that someone had given him to, to play, and uh, he found out years later that it was he didn't know, really know how valuable the guitar was, and it's a very, very valuable guitar today. So even even these guitar players, they, they receive things. You know, a, a guy that he saw in the audience often, you know, one day, he sees the guy, the guy's like, here, you should play this guitar. And it's meaningful to KK. So he took the guitar, and he played it, and he's had it for years, and then later on down the line, you know, he finds out how valuable it is. That's meaningful to him, that a fan would give him a guitar that was so valuable. So, you know, working with KK was a real pleasure, really nice man, a real gentleman who kept checking in with me as I was doing the shooting, and there was these doors that led out to the garden where you would first tee off at the golf course, and uh, we overheard him talking about to someone that asked him a question about his rose garden. So it was just the coolest thing to one second be talking to him about his, you know, amazing guitars that we've seen him shred on, and then hear him be able to speak intelligently about his rose garden.